Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our Pokemon Soul Stone Let's Play. And this is part 6 of the Let's Play. Yeah, so uh, last episode we went through some Ice Cave, I believe. And now we are in Amber Forge. Uh, thankfully, a viewer uh, mentioned to continue with the story, we have to go through some of the houses and do some of the quests, I believe, unless I read that wrong, but, whoops, uh, let's do that then. Sorry, it's been a few days since I've kind of recorded, so I kind of want to get something to you guys, or get a video out for you guys. Yeah, okay. Uh, Amber Forge citizens are highly dependent on nearby Carleton Mine to make a living. Most citizens in the town are employed or serve the mine. The company that owns the mine built a large academy so all of our children could go to school. I can't imagine what would happen if that mine went under. My wife is in the HR department of the mine and she told me things aren't looking too good. So she should, sorry, so she piss. So she suggested, sorry, that we pack up and leave. Our house has been on the market for a couple of weeks, but we've not been able to find a buyer because of the rising gang activity in the city. It also didn't help when our house was was recently vandalized. Sorry, I hope someone teaches those hooligans a lesson. I guess we're going to be the ones to do that, maybe. I need your help with something. There are a group of hooligans that have been lottering around Amber Forge City. I think some of them used to be employed by the mine but were let go because of disciplinary reasons. I'm getting concerned because their illicit or however you pronounce that activities are affecting home prices in the city. A few days ago our home was vandalized, sorry. My husband and I had recently put our house up on the market and we were ready to leave to go back to Cyrus City. You can imagine that the recent act of vandalism didn't do wonders for our open house. I need you to teach those hooligans a lesson. They hang around the south side of Amber Forge. Could you ask a, Could you ask them to leave, please? Sure. Awesome, thanks. I'm sure if you challenge them to a battle and win, they'll go away. Okay, cool. Uh, piss. So, yeah, um, sorry as usual for messing up whenever I read, as I've said many, many times. I suck at reading. Um, but yeah, viewer told me to do some of the quests here, and then that should kind of start up the, um, I guess story, I think. Unless I read that wrong, but I guess these are the guys, or quite a few of them. Um, but yeah, let's go through some of these quests, and then... Hopefully that'll help. Wait, what? How do you... Oh, I, I see what it is. Okay, sorry. Oh, look, boys. We have a runt that wants to come to our territory. Quick, give me your Pokemon, boys. I'll use them to beat this trainer into a bloody pulp. I'm just gonna pause. See you all in a moment. Alright, so got through that. <laughs> you what, mate? I was not expecting to get owned like that. Alright, what the hell do you want, then? This lady wants you guys to stop lottering around the city. Your gang's presence is um, causing a drag on real estate prices. Oh, you must be talking about that person, Candace. Yeah, well, maybe we wouldn't have to resort to the gang activity if she hadn't fired my guys from the mine. My boys and I worked in construction. Why did we get fired, you ask? Because I started seeing some irregularities when my team started getting questioned about our whole construction budget was way over i didn't understand what was going on either my boys and i had been doing a great job and all the progress logs showed we were under budget long story short i did some poking around to figure out what was going on and then candace got wind of my snooping i think that lady and her husband are embezzling money from the mine when I confronted her about it, she fired my entire team. This entire city is dependent on the mine for jobs and money with her letting us go. We had to resort to a gang activity and selling drugs to make ends meet. Arguably harmless crimes considering we don't have... Wait, what? No, I'm sorry. We don't even sell any of the hard stuff, but Candace, her fraud could mean that the... 
could mean that hundreds of people in the city lose their job. She took our job. We'll leave for now, but that lady is a real um, blank here. If you believe me, go back to Candace and let her know I'm on to her and I'll find proof to expose her. It's just a matter of time until I expose her as the real criminal she is. Come on, boys, let's go. Thanks for getting rid of those hooligans. We were just trying to enjoy our date. Big oof. I wonder if that's a side quest that'll continue going on. I, I bet it would be. Kind of interesting. Did you get rid of those hooligans? You beat them? Thank you. I'm so relieved. Hopefully this will buy my family the short rep reprieve we needed for us to sell this house and go back home to Cyrus City. Yeah, about that, they mentioned something about embezzling money from the mine. Hmm. Marcus told you that story too? That person is trying to tarnish my reputation. I ought to sue him for slander. He's just disgruntled? Uh, because I realized he had been selling his drugs to other mine workers while on the clock. So you do know him and his crew. Yes, I do. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that earlier, but I didn't think telling a stranger all that history was important to know. In any case, I'm fed up with the city now. The dependence that the city has on the mine makes me uncomfortable when I come from a large event city like Cyrus City. I realized it was time for my family to move back to where I'm from, where there are far more opportunities. Do you believe me? Hmm... I'm gonna be real, I... Mm. Mm. It, it's hard, but I kind of want to say no. I don't, I don't believe it. I can't believe you're siding with a petty criminal if you're going to accuse me of embezzlement without any evidence and get out of my house. Marcus said he's going to expose you for, for the criminal you are. I look forward to seeing what proof he finds. So did Candace fess up? No, she denied it and kicked me out of her house. Of course she did. Why should I have expected any less from a person like her that will teach you not to believe everything, um, whatever the word is, and distress tell you? Hey, some of my fellow mates bailed after you beat us. I still have their Pokemon, but it wouldn't feel right using them after you helped us. Would you like one of them? You could pick which one you want. Um... If it was a Lolan Grimer, I'd probably choose that, but I mean they're both okay. Um let's go coughing, why not? I'm probably not even gonna use it, but also let me give you this item. That may be de decent in the future. Ooh, I like that, okay. I won't give that lady any rest. I'm gonna make her life miserable until she turns herself in. Later, mate, I'm going to get on out of here before the cops harass me. Cool, cool. Alright, so let's heal real quick and let's check out the other houses. See if the other guy messaged me back. Um, sorry, um, it's my first time getting into, like, grading cards. Um, I did some submission back, um, exactly, actually a little over a year ago. Uh, a year and one month. I sent out August 1st, 2020, and... Finally from our middleman, we're finally getting some responses about our grades, so hopefully I'll be getting those in a month. Um, as I said before, I'm kind of into the TCG um, with my Boiling Groudon account on Instagram. That's pretty much dead and irrelevant, but yeah. Okay, so enough of me being dumb there. Let's see. Hello, I'm a fur fru groomer. Um, nah. Okay. Hello, I'm starting my own business of grooming Pokemon to show off my skill. I will groom one of your Pokemon for free. Um, I guess Olympia. Okay. Was that it? My parents are super wealthy. I'm one of the rare few that don't need to rely on the mine for my livelihood. Let me share some of, some of my good fortune with you. Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. Yes, I, I'm with you on this one since you gave me an Amulet coin. I'll take it. Um, there you go. Nice. 
Um, I am long since retired. I long for an adventure once again. Why don't you take this TM I use during my own travels? Okay. Speaking of which, I could use some rest myself. That might be decent on Snorlax, maybe. If I decide to use a Snorlax. Uh, does this open up? No. Um, I don't think... No, that's the daycare. We don't need to worry about that. Um, can we go down here? If not, we might have to just go up. Sorry, my friend, we're experiencing a bit of a power problem going into the mine. It's not safe to go there right now. Okay, so we do have to go up. Cool, cool. Also, real quick, I believe I brought it up on another episode. I'm actually thinking about starting a new series on the channel. Um, probably not instantly. I have not really 100% decided if I'm going to be honest. Oh, that's the Froki the one guy was talking about. Um, um, sure, we'll go, we'll go for one. Why not? Uh, give it a name. Um, I, um, I, I don't know, Kermit. I don't think I really ever use uh, Greninja much at all, so I don't really know any good names on the top of my head. Uh, we'll just send him back to the PC. Um, I'll take my chances if it's a good nature. Uh, but anyways, what I was saying earlier was... Um, sorry. I don't want to battle her. Um, I thought about getting into a new series. Not really Pokemon related. I brought up before that I may want to get into other like RPG games. Um, a few of my friends have talked about... Um, a game called Omari, I believe. Um... I don't know much about it. it. It seems like a game I would enjoy. Um, I would say it's definitely, if you haven't heard of it, it's definitely much more on the more, um, what's the right word? Um, I don't know if the right word is mature side, because a lot of my friends, like they said before, like they, they know, like I don't really like mind stuff like that, but there's like a lot of like depressive stuff, some suicide stuff. Um, really like deep meaning stuff with the game i guess there's like different routes that you can get as well and it seems like a game i, I would personally enjoy but again like I, I go back and forth with do i want to stick to pokemon with this channel or maybe should i branch out into other kind of rpg style games as well um to be honest i i don't really play too many other rpg style games beside like pokemon itself but i don't know i thought about Again, just branching out, trying like just new stuff, you know, because why not? Um, I know a few of you guys actually um, were telling me that you guys wouldn't mind, or some of you have told me you wouldn't mind um, me playing Amari on the channel or kind of getting into like other games and stuff like that, but I don't know. I haven't really decided yet on that one. I'm not really sure. Um, it seems like a fun idea because, I mean, it's something different beside Pokemon, but... It's kind of like, should I just stick the Pokemon with this or not? I guess it's something that's ultimately up to me, but, um, I don't know. Just something I've been kind of thinking about recently. Um, let me pause real quick for you guys, sorry. I kind of realized I forgot that some of the battle music can get very overwhelming, so... Hopefully... Oh, that's, um... What's his name? Emmett? Emil, sorry. Not Emmett. Who the hell is Emmett? Good question. Let's look it up. Okay, I don't know what I expected. Um, some character with, I guess, brown and white hair. I, I don't know who the hell this is, and I'm just going to pretend I never saw that person. Um, but close enough. Emil, Alan, it's about time you got here. I've been waiting for a while for you to catch up. So here we are. Route zero, <laughs> zero. Route 103, sorry. No, dummy. The Shrine of Shaman. Um, what? This is a dead end. What did I say when we were down in my grandfather's study? I said that the Shrine of Shaman will only reveal itself to a true soul keeper. I don't see anything overly special here other than a few... Or a bunch of trees, sorry. But the map says that it should be right here. 
That map must be older than your grandfather. We have no idea if we're even remotely close to the shrine or not. That's what I thought until I saw this. Move aside. Look on this tree's bark. What do you see? I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like the outline of a Garcida flower, or however you pronounce it. Um, it can't be a coincidence. Okay, fine, you found the symbol. Didn't that inscription say it would only reveal to those who hold the sacred charge or something like that? Yes. So you're a soul keeper. You hold the sacred charge. Why isn't the entry opening? Hmm. I have an idea. The soul stone are the keys. Eureka, I found it. Wait, real quick. Did he get back the soul stone with Shaman? Uh, it's been a few days since I recorded, I'm sorry. Um, from time to time, like I'll kind of like pre-record. Um, if I know I'm going to get busy throughout the week from time to time. I don't really like doing it too much since sometimes like I'll get comments on some suggestions and then all of a sudden, like, piss. I'm already like two episodes ahead of you. That's why I normally don't do it from time to time. I will, but um, in this case... I've not recorded in a minute. I have nothing pre-recorded, so... I may have to re-watch some of my videos to kind of get updated with the story. Uh, anyways... Oh, that's it. Alright, real quick. Um, I'm gonna pause and talk to the one lady. Because she said something about... I remember there was a quest with, um... Like, birds or something. Or the bird Pokemon were, like, attacking her. Uh, give me a second. Okay, I don't know. I... I piss i can't speak i don't know why i ran all the way back to the to the ice cave but she's literally right here so i kind of pulled a stupid um had the bird pokemon near my grandmother's birdhouse stopped being so hostile i don't know what's going on this only started happening recently no piss like a piss 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 i don't know what i'm saying anymore i think i'm going crazy there or this area has no encounter no come on no poke gear Quest log, ongoing five. Wait, huh? Oh, uh, wait. I thought we did this one. I thought we, or, or do you have to go back and talk to him? Well, whoops. A uh, haunted birdhouse. Lucy has asked you to investigate the haunted birdhouse on Route Three for her. Okay, so. I guess I must have missed it then. Okay, where the hell is this birdhouse? Is it like up here? I, I bet you it is. Ooh, tango, that's a nice one. I don't really see a use for it though. Oh yeah, here it is. The bird Pokemon near the birdhouse have whipped up into a frenzy. Oh? Well, that's probably why. Uh, give me a second. Alright, so took care of that, I think. Right? The bird Pokemon seem to have flown off. Perhaps Calm has returned to the shrine. Maybe? I guess we're about to find out when we go talk to her. Also, I might go back and do the other side quests since I've kind of missed quite a few of them, but I might not. I I'm not sure how important it is. Uh, the bird Pokemon near... Okay, we were we already read that, sorry. Oh, it was just a ghost Pokemon riling up the birds nearby. Oh, well, that explains why they were getting so freaked out. Thank you for restoring calm to my grandmother's birdhouse. Now I can go back to spend some time with my grandmother. Please take this for your troubles. Okay. Um, oh, I got $2,000. I guess that's pretty much worth it. Um, I kind of thought about buying some repels, but I kind of don't. Just in case if we kind of see something new or cool or anything like that, you know? I think I'm going to wait out on that. Uh, stunt tank, I, I'm not going to use one, to be honest. Um, also, sorry if I kind of like skipping out on trainers. Normally I don't, but since we're pretty much at like a pretty high level... Um, I don't really see a need for it. I mean, I guess for money. I, I guess then again, friendship too for Snorlax. I, I guess that's fair. But... I 
I just haven't even decided if I'm going to even use a Snorlax. It seems good, but... I don't know, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. But then again, I don't know if the team that I have right now is going to be like my forever team. Most likely not. But... We'll just have to see how that goes. Alright, so enough of me being dumb. Alon, thank you for coming this way, or this far from me. Admittedly, I don't know what comes next. I was kind of hoping Shaman would just, you know, be here waiting for us. You know, Emil, I could be more annoyed with you with your hair, brain, plans, but I can understand what an awkward position we're in. It's not every day you get told you're some sort of royalty and have a powerful artifact that can control the weather. It can't be used to control the weather, silly. Um, what was that? Oof. Hi, Emil. Um, you know my name. Of course I do. You're my soul bond. Soul bond? You're my what? Yeah, I I'm in the same boat. What the hell is that? Oh dear, it seems like you have not been prepared for this at all, have you? No, Shaman, I don't know what's going on. I came here looking for answers. I was hoping you could fill in the blanks. My grandfather told me a lot of the story. A lot of stories, sorry. But I always thought he was crazy. I miss... Marazio? I probably pronounced that wrong. He was a good soul keeper, much better than the others. He at least tried to preserve his knowledge. Yes, uh, Mariazzo, that was my grandfather. I will tell you all, but first, I need to do something. We are being watched. Oof. So Shaman probably knows about the agency then? Or probably doesn't know about the agency, but knows that the agency is kind of watching this, maybe? Actually, wait a minute. No, 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 that makes sense, because if I remember last time with the whole Thunders thing, we got pissed off at our... I guess her higher ups because they were supposed to give us backup and they knew everything that unfolded um, even before like we knew everything so they kind of hid stuff from us and all that if I'm not mistaken uh, anyways ow what was that for shaman what are you doing cleansing a line now whatever was listening to us or tracking us can't track us anymore seriously they can't hear us anymore Nope, I pinky promise, well, if I had any pinkies. Alon, what is Shaman talking about? Emil, if what Shaman says is right, I can finally be open with you. This is an incredible long story, but my employer was asking me to gain your trust and deceive you. They wanted to learn more about the Soul Stone and wanted me to try to reclaim the artifact from you. Alon, no. I'm sorry. They were threatening to do bad things to me if I didn't cooperate. You tell Emil and Shaman what you know of the agency and your role in the current timeline. You inform them of the uh, Presh Precarus or I, I, I'm sorry, I suck at reading. Um, of the blank position that you were put into by the agency and how they forced you into being a duplicitous with Emil from the beginning. I don't understand why is the, why is my soul stone suddenly of so much interest to so many people? Zyrus and his shadow council, Alon's agency, what is going on? I knew I said something amiss about Alon, but this is something that even I didn't foresee. Fortunately, I am confident that my cleansing power has purified Alon of their agency remote control over them. We will need to be extra cautious because up until this point, even I didn't realize there was another party that would have any interest in the outcome of this conflict between the Circle of Soul Keepers and the Order of Watchers. Emil, it is ultimately your call, but I suggest that we trust Alon for now. This is a lot to take in all at once. I went from having a shadow priest that used my soul stone to control a thunderous to now being pursued by a group of time-traveling spy police, but I think I have to trust Alon here. That is a really elaborate story to make up, and that kind of Pokemon battling power slash technique is definitely something out of the ordinary. 
the fact that Alan was able to fend off Zyrus and his pet Thunderous on the terrace of the Stonecrest Museum and save my life, I think I have to trust Alan right now. Alan, please don't make me regret this. Shaman, do you agree? I support your decision, Emil. Alan has demonstrated a character I admire if they were around during the time of the Great Fracture. I am positive they would have been entrusted to be a soul keeper too. What is the Great Fracture? I read about this in my grandfather's tomb. Or tome, sorry. Or, it's another name for book. I believe I learned that last episode or two episodes ago. Wait, I believe we will soon have company. Emil, go along with this. Alon, if we don't make it out of this place in one piece, we will need to entrust you with saving us. Find Terrakion. Oh. I don't even know what the hell happened, but okay. Shaman squeals in pain. Aren't you a legend? Ah, whatever. Uh, good work on tracking down the Soul Keeper and this Shaman Alon. I knew we could trust you to complete your mission. Wait, no, then, then Shaman lied then. Alon, who is this? Wait, we're not about to get blamed, right? Shaman literally said that that they couldn't track us, and now they can? We're about to get blamed, aren't we? This is cringe, if that is the case. Agents apprehend the Soul Keeper and his Shaman immediately secure the Soul Stone. Ow. Do not resist, Soul Keeper. Spencer, what are you doing? You never said you would hurt them. I made no such assurances. This Soul Keeper and his Shaman are in possession of a dangerous weapon. They will be taken into custody immediately. Al piss off! No, no, wait. Piss off. Dude. Why are you getting mad at me? Look at the Shaman. I, I don't know, like... Again, like, that's just what the story intended, but, like, how is this my fault? Technically, I told you everything. So, get mad at Shaman. They got it all wrong that they couldn't track us. It ain't our fault. Uh, it is what it is. Alon, you treacherous snake. Did you have to tase them? We couldn't be certain he had a mythical Pokemon with them. Well, I guess that's kind of fair. But, but still, like, b back to the one thing, like... I don't know, like, I don't mean to use common sense quite a bit, but like with me, it's just like, Shaman literally said, there's a third party watching us or whatever, or another party, whatever, um, there, they shouldn't be watching. Oh, yo, Alon, we were watching, the Shaman didn't do crap, and now we're getting blamed by a mill, and Shaman will probably blame us too. Nice. Anyways, alright, you got the Soul Keeper and his Shaman, now we will tell you what the plan is. I needed to make sure we could trust you. I appreciate your cooperation in this, I understand you befriended him, but rest assured a mill and a Shaman shall come to no further harm from now, assuming he cooperates during the interrogation. But then again, like, when Spencer's like, we need to make sure we can trust you, but like, there was never really any trust to begin with because, I mean, literally, if we didn't do what you said, like, we would have been eliminated and replaced, so... We didn't really have a say or a choice, so... Whatever. Uh, what are we going to interrogate him for? You've been remo remotely observing me with your satellites, haven't you? You should know by now that he knows nothing. Let's just say we anticipate the canary will sing now that we have his shaman. Alright, well, what now? Agent Cameron is waiting for you at Amberforge Mine with your next assignment. Don't keep him waiting. Big oof. Or, honestly, I can't really tell if we... Maybe we actually initially planned to befriend him in the beginning. Maybe. I, I might be wrong on that. If that's the case, then like, I'll take the L for this one. But... I mean... I don't know, I don't know. Rip us, bro. Rip us. Emil is a cool, kind of cool character, you know? Um, but I'm sure he's gonna hate us forever now. But it makes it more interesting in a sense, too. Like... Like... I, I, what am I trying to get at? 
it still makes me believe in a sense that we are going to probably go against the agency for kind of like what they're doing, you know? Um, and that is a motorcycle, I think, or a moped, whatever. Um, doors locked. Oh, that's right. Where did, where do we need to go again? The mines? Yeah, the mines. Hold up. Let's get this out of the way and then we'll end the episode off here. Because he said our next mission was here, right? Come on, almost there. That was the fourth one today. Oh, hey there. You may have been wondering what I was doing. See this rock over by me, or at least what's left of it. It had some treasure, well maybe, I don't know. The darn thing collapsed on me. The rocks down here are down here, sorry, are full of rare items. All you need is a pickaxe and a hammer to try and extract whatever you can. Just be careful, if you're too hasty, the rock will collapse on itself and you won't get anything. Here, I have an extra kit handy, take one. Big oof, okay. Simply, er, sim yeah, simply walk up to any of these glowing rocks you see, smack the wall with the hammer or chip away with a pickaxe using the space button and press the Z key to switch the two tools. Good luck now. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, you can get another kick at the or at the can if you're not successful on the first go. If you have some blast powder on you, watch and learn, my friend. I came prepared because I'm not exactly the most elegant miner. I just want treasure. I have an extra, so here, help yourself. Big oof. Keep your eye out for these types of shining rocks in the underground mine. There's a ton of them. Uh, where's the one dude at? There we go. Yo, weakling. About time your slow butt caught up to me. Spencer told me I have your next assignment for you. How does it feel to know I outrank you already? But didn't we like absolutely like decimate you in our last battle? That's another thing I don't get to. It's like we do better than them and we're still outranked. I guess battling wise it doesn't matter. I guess it's more on missions. If that's the case, that makes more sense. He probably has done more than us. Uh, but wait, before I give you your briefing, let's have a quick battle. A pull-up, dude. Let's do this. Give me a second. Alright, big oof, sorry. Um, wait, what the hell did I unpause? <laughs> um, well, this is kind of awkward. You know, we'll just stay on in battle, why not? Um, what was it? I got a message from our PSA um, Instagram group with pretty much everyone that submitted with him. Um, kind of finished watching all those videos and I kind of thought I paused the video to kind of watch that and then I realized I didn't even finish this battle so it's all good it's all good. Um, probably after this we'll probably end it off because again I don't want this series being you know 40 minute videos i want to stick to 25 35 max so we'll probably are about to push 35 minutes so yeah anyways oh bull crap all right well i suppose i'll stop withholding you on your next assignment um briefing from you then sorry all right so here's the deal remember those infrared signatures that spencer told you about that were coming from stonecrest woods well there's apparently Sorry. Well, there's apparently a few of them that the agency has been tracking throughout the Apoch region. They believe these infrared readings are coming from these soul stones. They think that this signature belongs to Mr. Pierre Carleton. Carleton? I think I got that right. Uh, the owner of Amber Forge Mine. So let me guess. You want me to befriend this Carleton guy so that you can then ambush him and take him into custody too? Wrong. Spencer told me the agency is trying to get these soul keepers on our side, convince them to side with us against Cyrus. The agency believes that these soul stones are somehow connected to legendary or mythical Pokemon. Well, that's... That's kind of a... You don't say moment. Like... Like, duh. I mean, like, Shaman's involved. There was a Thunderous as well. Um... Like, yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Uh, convince them to side with us. They're doing a bang-up job of that so far. Did Spencer tell you he tased the last Soul Keeper and his shaman into submission? 
Really? That's awesome. See, it, it, it's like behavior like this, um, that really makes me believe, like, we will go against the agency. Because, it, it, like, think about it. It's like, we want you to side with us by force. Because, like, to be honest, like, see, like, it goes back into one thing before, like, with the whole trust thing. There was never really trust in the room to begin with. Because it, it was literally like, hey, we want to make sure we could trust you, but just in case you don't, or if you do anything against us, or if you just go your own way, we'll just eliminate you and just have another guy. So please let us trust you, and you trust us. Like, no, that's not really trust at all. I, I feel like I worded that weird, but I, I think you get the point. Uh, same, same with this thing. It's like, we want you to work with us to stop the enemy, but if you don't help us, we're going to tase you, we're going to hurt the mythical Pokemon, and we're going to... You know, be abusive towards you until you give in. Your choice. And it's like... It doesn't really make us look any good at all. So, that's why I think we will go against them. I, I think that's kind of obvious. Maybe not. Um, I'm not sure. But, so far the story... Um, it seems very interesting. I, I, I'm really liking it so far, to be honest. Like... I don't know. Like, I feel like I've had a few moments that I, like, pick on the story. But, like... Kind of ignore me doing that because like I just do that with just almost any game to begin with so just ignore me It's just me being dumb, but like in all seriousness like I, I really like the story and where this is going um, It seems very interesting so far and I and I really am enjoying it. So it seems very good I, I like it so far Anyways, I should have figured a social path like you would laugh at that the ends justify the means I guess now, Spencer told me we're going to use Mr. Carlton as well as the other Soul Keepers as bait. Bait for Zyrus. You bet. With all the technology and intelligence the agency has at its disposal, why can't we just track down Zyrus directly? Why do we need to use the Soul Keepers as leverage to bait Zyrus first? Beats me. No, I know the answer. Power. If they have all the mythical Pokemon, then like, how can anybody go against the agency? You can't. They just have too much power behind them. Because they could easily go after Zyrus and the other leaders with all of that. Um, but I think it's more of just them wanting power, ultimately. I, I think it's going to lead into something like that. Uh, beats me, my guess is if we could do that, we would have done it by now. I asked Spencer the same question, and he used that bullcrap security clearance co op or co cope out. No, piss. Cop out to get me into the, to get me to stop asking questions, sorry. In any case, you have your orders, mate. Find this guy and convince him to come under our protection willingly. Oh, and I almost forgot. I need to give you this. You might need it during your mission into the mine. Spencer informed me you're now security cleared to level 1, so you get this new toy on your Poke Gear. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm off now. Later, Slowpoke. Big oof. I'm going to end the video off here then. But yeah, so far, those are my speculations on how it's going to play out. Might be wrong, we'll just have to see where um, where it goes from there. But um, yeah, I'm going to end the video off here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Love you all. Sorry for going a little bit longer than intended, but it is what it is. And um, I will see you all in the next video. Good morning.